Hey chaps, Steve back here again from Golf Smackers. We're a private tutor and company based in London. If you need tuition or any advice or anything, uh, contact me. Website details are below. Uh, we do Skype. Uh, I do Skype and all those kind of things anyway. Um, okay, cool. So um, today I wanted to talk about a, um, a chap, a tutor that I met. He um, does longitudinal studies over at UCL and uh, basically he looks at um, thousands of variables and data sets uh, examining the... Um, you know the life course that um, some children have right from kind of inception all the way into adulthood and uh, one of the things that we touched upon was the idea of the brain being very plastic and a lot more malleable uh, in the younger years and I guess today um, the main thing that I wanted to kind of advise uh, and, and impart I guess upon you um, you know it, it's start them young them being your children or nephews or nieces or anyone in your life that's a young child if um, you know if you're interested in them learning languages if you're interested in kids acquiring new skills um, we soak up so much at an incredibly young age that you know there's that there's no ne there's no need really to wait until they hit 11 and start studying French at school or hit 14 or whatever it might be and um, the younger you start the you know the more that you can acquire knowledge and information um, the sooner um, I remember going to uh, one of my uh, Oxford University interview and I think I met this um, she was an Indian girl like myself, but she was born and raised in Italy and had lived in a couple of places. But what bowled me over was that she spoke five languages fluently, like French, Spanish, Italian, English, and Hindi. And, uh, you know, she was, at the time, uh, <laughs> a long time ago, it was, she was 18 years old, and it just stunned me. And, you know, one of the reasons was, was because her parents had started her so young, and, you know, there's the effect of compounding as well. You know, a little over a long course and period of time really does add up. So, if there's skills that you think that your children can always use and reuse, um, you know, one of the primary popular ones being languages, um, then I do really encourage you to start them young. Cheers, guys. Have a good weekend.